guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to create this timeless look so I'm going to start by using a white eyeshadow I've already primed my lids and I've applied a white base it's the NYX eyeshadow base and then I'm packing a white eyeshadow from Mac right on top you can use any eyeshadows you have I'm just using Mac because they're the most pigmented I wanted this look to be really striking uh, so then I took uh, this transition color again from MAC and I just used my fluffy blending brush from Blank Canvas Cosmetics, it's the F28 and I'm just blending this all over my lids. This is my mid-tone shade so it's only two shades darker than my natural skin tone. It's just to give a very light wash of color to the lids and it will help with blending later. Then I'm going in with a darker color, this is actually um, Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek and I'm just blending this right into the crease and this is about another shade darker than my mid-tone color that I used beforehand and again this is to create a little bit of definition on the lid. Then I'm going into a dark brown eyeshadow, again this is from my MAC palette, it's just a matte deep dark brown and taking a pencil brush this time I'm just going to blend the eyeshadow into the crease. So kind of creating a cut crease in a way because when you're using a pencil it's making the eyeshadow look really sharp. So I'm just applying the eyeshadow where I want it with the pencil brush and then taking a fluffy blending brush. And blending everything out so the dark brown is going to be really intense kind of gives the same effect as a cut crease just not as dramatic I'm just going back with another coat uh, to make the brown eyeshadow really pop once I have my liner on this is going to be absolutely stunning I'm just going back in with a little bit of more white eyeshadow just so I don't lose that pop of color on the lids Next I'm applying my liner, so I'm using a flat angle brush from Blank Canvas Cosmetics and I'm taking my Morphe Brushes Gel Liner, I swear by this liner, it's really easy to apply, it's really creamy and it's easy to remove as well which I think is so important when it comes to eyeliners because there's nothing worse than pulling and dragging at your eyes. So I'm just creating my wing first, lining up the wing with my lower lash line and then dragging it right through into the inner corner. This is the easiest way for me to create a wing and I really focus on making the liner really thick and dark so it will be really striking on the eyes. Moving on to the face, I'm taking this colour corrector from my Blank Canvas Cosmetics palette, I'm using the second colour in which is the pink and I'm just applying this under my eyes. So I'm bringing it down actually near kind of the end of my nose because I've been having problems with dark circles under my eyes lately because I'm getting old. <laughs> it's traumatizing. But I just wanted to try out some more color correctors to see if it would help a little bit more. So I'm using my, my Blank Canvas Cosmetics one and I'm just blending it out with my finger. Then I'm taking a stippling brush from Blank Canvas and I'm using a foundation from Clinique. Uh, I just have a little sample size of it, I've been loving it, I really need to buy myself a full size version of it because I've been trying it out now for months and I love it. It's one of the new Clinique foundations, I'll leave it linked in the description box. So I'm just stippling my foundation on and just covering up the, the colour corrector and just blending everything out. Then I'm going into the concealer shade right next to the pink colour corrector and I'm going to apply this using a concealer brush right under my eyes. So again bringing it down to the end of the nose and right up to the corner of the eye to really make the eyes pop and again when the light is shining down on you if you just put concealer right on the dark circles it's actually going to make them look more obvious so the trick to covering dark circles completely is to bring the concealer past your dark circles down to the end of the nose and it's just going to really brighten up the under eyes and bring brighten everything in general so it will really cover anything that's under the eyes if that makes sense. I'm just packing it in using a sponge to get rid of, rid of any excess product and then I'm going into my contour so I'm using the Hoola from my Christmas set. This set is actually from last year but Benefit have them back in stock again just with different packaging and this year you also get a liner and a mascara. It's only about 10 euro extra on top of you know the price of one full size blush but instead you're getting a liner mascara and six almost full size blushes and a bronzer so I think that is 
fairly good value so I definitely recommend you checking that out. So I'm just taking my F15 brush from blank canvas and I'm really focusing and just chiseling out the cheekbones and contouring the face and really bronzing it up. I'm also using my mini contour brush from blank canvas to contour down the sides of my nose and just under my lip as well to give me that pout. I'm not going to be using any blush today, just really focusing on contouring and bronzing up my face. For my highlight I'm using my Blank Canvas Cosmetics Contour Palette and I'm using the lightest shade on my F14 brush I believe and I'm just packing this right under the eyes exactly where I applied my concealer and then I'm doing the centre of my forehead, down the centre of my nose, my cupid's bow and my chin just to really brighten up those areas and bring them forward. If you want a step by step video on contouring I will leave that up on the top right hand corner as well. I'm just applying my lashes. I'm using the Red Cherry number 43 lashes as per usual. I'm just taking a pencil brush but a little bit of the dark brown eyeshadow and my mid-tone shade and just dusting this on the lower lash line for a little bit of definition and just applying mascara. I also took a flesh pencil liner, I use the J Manual Naked Liner and just uh, apply this on my waterline to really open up my eyes. And lastly, but definitely not least, I'm using my Catrice Lip Liner and this is a berry shade, it's called Very Berry and I'm literally just lining the outer rim of my lips because I don't want to change the colour of the lipstick because it's very beautiful, very unique so I'm literally just lining the area so it will make applying lipstick that bit easier if that makes sense. So then I'm just using my lipstick, this is from Makeup Revol Revolution yeah, Makeup Revolution, it's a very vampy shade, it's a lovely satin, very moisturising lipstick and I think it costs like one pound or something crazy like that. So I'll leave everything linked in the description box anyway and now it's time for a selfie. <laughs> Pop over to my Snapchat Makeup by Saz for more and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Have a lovely weekend. Bye! Oh, <laughs> my